Gilman reporting for KD Chats at the Canadian Screen Awards in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Evan Solomon. How does it feel to be nominated for a Canadian Screen Award this evening? It is fantastic. It's always one of those things when you cover politics, your nose is in the grindstone and you just focus on everything and all of a sudden someone says, you get to come out and meet your colleagues and kind of take your pull your head up out of the swamp for a while. So it's kind of nice to breathe the fresh air. It's good. It's really, really good. Um, when did you initially get passionate about politics? Is this something that started as a kid or just, just tell me about it? <laughs> you know, it's a great question. And I was talking to my father uh, just before I was coming here today. He lives here in Toronto and he's just been through some really rough surgery. Everything's gone great, which is fantastic. But he and when I grew up, he loved to watch the Sunday morning political shows and I loved it. And I always dreamt about hosting a political show. And my father and I were, he remembers my brother, my sister didn't, but that was what I wanted. And he loves politics and I love politics. So this was kind of something that started, honestly, as young as I can remember talking politics with my dad. And then many years later, I started a magazine when I was in my early twenties. And my best friend who I started it with, who's now, he was a publisher. He said, what do you want to be, the business guy, the publisher, the editor? And I said, look, would you rather be Ted Koppel on Nightline or the president of CBS? And he said, the president of CBS. And I said, I'd rather be Ted Koppel. And so you know, it was always something that I had my kind of goal on. Wow. And uh, isn't that funny? Yeah. And what does your dad think about uh, power and politics? Uh, he watches it a lot. My mom <laughs> and dad watch it. Uh, they're really passionate uh, political debaters. And so I will get calls a lot. <laughs> and... A lot of it is about, I, I, you should have asked him this, or what, what about this, or I think you're missing the point, you have to cover this, what about this international issue? So they are so engaged in it. So it's really, you know, my kids don't want to talk about it. Yeah. But um, it's great to see that, you know, that political dialogue. In a, in a weird way, because of social media, everybody's doing it now. You know, you get, you get Twitter, and it's like I'm always in that dinnertime conversation, but with people all across the country, which is kind of cool. Well, thank you so much, and congrats and best of luck this evening. Thanks, Katie. Appreciate it.